See, we got lots of room in here. I built this shelf in here so you can double deck things. I could got a fish house here, a fish house here. Also one will fit in front of us so I can actually put four fish traps in here. You know, here I got, got a couple power augers in here. You know, lots of room to put your, your gear. You know, just a van has got a lot of a lot of room in it, a lot more than a, you know, it seems the trends are four-door pickups right now, seem to be the trends, but you really haven't got any haul space when you do that. Here we got lots of haul space. Now I pull this single place snowmobile trailer. <clears throat> you know, this is my bass boat on ice right here. This this uh, you know, the engine for my bass boat on ice, I guess. You know, we got these skis here. What we do with these skis is we can put them right on the wheels of the trailer. Yeah, you know, get the idea here. You know, I, I had these made. Just uh, an aluminum ski, a little wheel holder there. Got a wear bar on the bottom of it there so that uh, it, it tracks nice. The thing that we've done is we've mounted an auger rack on the, fr on the front of the snowmobile. Most of the time things are on the back. I've found a lot uh, more comfortable to put it up on the front. I can see it, I know when it's clamped in. Clamp. Now this one is custom made. Uh, Strike Master now is marketing a, uh, a nice auger rack that you can bolt onto a uh, snowmobile or ATV that'll hold the auger. You know, you can see we just take the auger here. We can just set it right up in the in the rack. And just in this case, we just got some bungee cords that uh, can hold the auger on there, and we're ready to to move on to a fishing destination location. You know, here's actually my fish house. We got it set inside here right now, instead of on the back. And you can kind of see the way that I've got it rigged up here. Now here's my nice comfortable seat to sit on. But on the back of the seat here, I've got my tackle. All my tackle is right here in the pouch. You know, all my little boxes. You know, a lot of them as I'm fishing end up in my pocket. But right now they're, they're stored on here. And the ones I'm using are in my, would be in my pocket. Over here I put a, a rod hamper in. I, a place to keep all my my rods because hammock is a good name for it so you know so they're easy to get at you know now I've got you know nice rod cases in here too for storing them but you know the ones that I'm fishing with I want them easily accessible to me you know so you know two or three you know I got probably too many in here right now but uh, just a nice spot to keep the rods you know my electronics here at the store underneath here's my bucket to put the fish in it's just a dandy lid that uh, Strike Master makes here for a bucket. You know, it goes on this way. You can use it for to sit on. This way, the way I keep it in my fish house, is a great place to, when you got dropsies like I do, it's a place to store the stuff. My rod sits on there nice. Another thing I've got is my heater. I've got it mounted right here in, in the fish house. It's not just sitting back here loose. It's rigid in that place. So when I put it in the the half mass position, I can run that heater while I'm out on the ice. Now after I get the snowmobile out of, off the trailer, we could just pick up the trailer and put the ski underneath of it there, underneath, on, on the tire. Obviously one for each side. This little hitch in the back bag here, simple little thing on the back of my Bearcat here, the trailer tongue will just snap right into there. Here is a, an, another one of my fish traps that's mounted right up on the on the back of the snowmobile. You know, it's really simple to get on there. It's just, it's actually two of these bases. This one is fastened on and the fish house just sits right down inside of it. Makes it real easy to throw that in there and move on to the next spot. So, you know, this, this whole rig here is set up so that we can get four guys and get out on the lake and efficiently go fishing. We can put three fish houses on the trailer, three guys, my gear is all on here and we can go out you know got a gps that's mounted up on the dash of the snowmobile uh you know all your electronics you're just you know rigged up like any high you know big fancy bass boat that you'd use in the in the summertime and we can go out and catch some fish